And welcome back folks, welcome back to Let's Play The Dark Eye. Uh, when we last left off we... Uh, again entered that strange limbo world and apparently visited it several other dreams. Because um, so this corresponds to the dream of the cast of Amantillado. This one corresponds to the one uh, where that with the teeth and these other three um, yeah apparently were also dreams that one is I would guess the one where you are being buried alive which was actually the only one of the three which was interactive the other two apparently do also count as uh, dreams even though they were just kind of yeah non-interactive. Anyway, let us head into the strange world that is the dark eye and we're again staring at this picture. Um, let us see. Okay. So we are, d we, are in the we are indeed making progress. I was for one moment a bit worried that the game might be bugged out and uh, we would be at the Uh, so the progress would have been lost, but it hasn't been, fortunately. Fortunately. Okay, now we can hopefully take a look at that frame. And now that our uncle is... Oh my... Oh my dear word. Um, okay, the pictures that our uncle is drawing are getting more and more weird are getting weirder that's yeah why did I say more weird weirder are getting weirder and weirder and more brutal also um, also he talked he said something about taking immediate action and I didn't like um, how our uncle said that the way he said it okay okay this seems to be uh, unchanged um, we should probably check back with our cousin Elise. The last time we um, visited her, she gave us a letter that we were supposed to give to Henry, but then um, our cousin started bleeding from the nose and we entered one of those strange dreams. Let us see whether we can... Okay, our cousin is gone, but they are still the letter that we are supposed to deliver. And now we can read that letter and invade her privacy. My beloved Henry, my darling, I'm confused and frightened. Your declaration came so unexpectedly, uh, unexpectedly, and uncle is right when he says that I am for far too young to entertain proposal of marriage. The two men who mean the most to my me are in opposition. I fear the result will be for will be for uncle to send you far, far away, and I shall never see you again. If so, please, please remember me always. Yours Um I can't read that something something yours Elise. Okay, now that we have spied enough on um, the romance between our brother and our cousin, we should probably try to deliver that letter to our brother, which should be in this room. Yes. From Elise? Yes. Um, okay, I suppose it's one of those situations where you have to turn away and f face the person to keep the conversation going. Wait! I need your help. Edwin has become completely unbalanced. He's violently angry. He even refuses to call for a doctor, claiming her condition is due to my unnatural advances. We must conspire mm. against him. 
We must take Elise from this dark place. You, my brother, you must help me. Ahem. Hmm. This can only be our uncle. Or the servant, actually. Oh! The mistress Elise is no more. She is dead. Oh. I, I, I must admit, I really did not expect that. Um, okay, that's quite terrible. I'm not sure whether our brother actually um, has noticed yet. I think we have to click on him. Uh, the servant ugh, is still there. Uh, I don't know how we can be there, except unless he is floating in mid-air, but anyway. Oh. Hmm. Okay, this is bad. Um. It's my fault. All my fault. I loved her as I've never loved. I refused to believe she was ill. My mother, my dear, dear mother died in much the same way. Hmm. You didn't kill her, did you? Strange old man that stubbornly refuses to properly articulate. Let, let me rub your belly. You must guard the secret of Henry's proposal. It only blackens her memory that she should die under indecent circumstances. Cousin, there was nothing indecent about my affection. Surely my grief compares with yours. Hmm. Please leave me to grieve properly. I ask only that you allow me to sit vigil just until dawn. Yes, it would be proper. Your brother will need light. Go fetch the lantern I was filling in my study. Hmm. I don't trust you. I really don't trust you, uncle. I don't trust you one bit, in fact. Let me check whether I can... Hmm. No, they seem to be just... waiting there, so I have to leave it. But I don't trust him. Let me... Hmm. Yeah, we, there's nothing that we can do here. Let us check, um, okay, now I'm a bit, con ah, that was Elise's room, then I think we, no, we did enter this room, yeah, let us check that room, hmm, and that's strange, room with a missing wall, Hmm. Also, there's something lying on the floor that we can't look at. Um, yeah, how are you... How can you be missing a wall? In a house, I mean... Okay, this is a... In the, this this world at least is supposed to make make sense so hmm wait there's another picture ah that was from the one well dreamlike non interactive sequence that we had um 
Not sure what this is supposed to depict. Possibly. Um, Henry in the lease. Hmm. So that would be Hmm. Okay, these pictures don't... So there's not a one-to-one -one correspondence between the pictures and the dreams because they... Um, it doesn't seem to picture be a picture that corresponds to the cask of Amontillado. Okay, now we have the lamp. Um, maybe shall, we shall, before we return to our uncle, Quickly check the cellar. Just out of sheer curiosity. Had bad dreams last night, did you? Hmm. Okay, this part of the game just seems to be completely unaware of the death of our cousin. Hmm. We did it. Hmm. Hmm. Now I don't think that having a lamp does much of a difference here. Okay, let us then do what we were actually supposed to do, namely bring this lamp to our uncle. And I would guess then hmm, we probably won't enter the final dream because there were two more empty slots. Good, set it here. Set it here. I'm not not making any problems with sound sound sounds in the head of that. Can't talk to our brother. Um, hmm. No, I think we are. Ah, yeah. Okay, the, my immediate um, impulse is, of course, to go back to that room and see if anything has changed in there and it hasn't um so let's check our bo our brother's room oh that was um wasn't our yeah i'm getting a bit confused here let us see whether that room has changed. Hmm. Hmm. It doesn't doesn't seem to have. I'm Kind of tempted to, um, yeah, find out whether um, we might be lucky, and that animation that we saw last time actually now contains some audio. So, um, if it should be the case that it doesn't contain audio, I will just edit this, and then we will be back, yeah, in a moment. Otherwise, you are going to see the thing with the sound. It was many and many a year ago in a kingdom by the sea that a maiden there lived 
whom you may know by the name of Annabel Lee. And this maiden, she lives with no other thought than to love and be loved by me. I was a child and she was a child in this kingdom by the sea. But we loved with a love that was more than love, I and my Annabel Lee. With the love that the winged seraphs of heaven coveted her and me. And this was the reason that long ago in the kingdom by the sea, a wind blew out of a cloud, chilling my beautiful Annabelle Lee, so that her high-born kinsman came and bore her away from me to shut her up in a sepulcher in this kingdom by the sea. The angels, not half so happy in heaven, went envying her and me. Yes, that was the reason, as all men know in this kingdom by the sea, that the wind came out of the cloud by night, chilling and killing my Annabel Lee. But our love it was stronger by far than the love of those who were older than we, of many far wiser than we. And neither the angels in heaven above nor the demons down under the sea could ever dissever my soul from the soul of the beautiful Annabel Lee. For the moon never beams without bringing me dreams of the beautiful Annabelle Lee. And the stars never rise, but I feel the bright eyes of the beautiful Annabelle Lee. And so all the night tide I lie down by the side of my darling, my darling, my life and my bride. In the sepulcher there by the sea, in her tomb by the sounding sea. So it did actually have sound, which would have been what I would have expected. Um, so that was um, probably a poem of Edgar Allan Poe. Um, again, I did expect that all of these stories slash poems would be interactive, but it appears that they're... Um, Yeah, um, didn't have enough resources, time, whatever, and so they made some of them into just these, basically, animations. Ah! Another picture has appeared, so there would... is one picture missing now. Um, can't leave the house. Hmm. Okay, let's check the, um, the canvas, see what it displays. It should be empty? No. It, ah. Hmm. Okay. So a picture of Annabel Lee and the other person that is not whose identity is not yet disclosed. Um, ah, final dream. Here it appears. Let us rub do what we do always, let us rub some belly. Yeah, this is indeed something new. Um, and we are apparently a lease, or at least someone looking exactly like her. And some women's knickers that we can't touch because this is a decent game. Hmm. And someone has made breakfast. Can I look at the breakfast, please? Come in. Ah, okay. 
end. Yeah. Hmm. Thought I heard someone knocking. Well, I did hear someone knocking, but. Ah, okay. Good morning, miss. I thought I'd look in to see if you're feeling something better. Yes. Yes, thank you, Catherine. Yes, miss. Okay, let us have some breakfast. And again, I failed to have breakfast. Okay, let us do some more stitching. Can't do that. Okay, fair enough. Hmm. So if you can't have breakfast, then I suppose we take a look at this bird that is rather static, but somehow still manages, manages to produce a sound. Hmm. Rather strange looking figures. To Helen. Helen, thy beauty is to me like those Nisian barks of yore that gently o'er a perfumed sea the weary wayworn wanderer bore to his own native shore. On desperate seas long wont to roam thy hyacinth hair, thy classic face, thy night airs have brought me home to the glory that was Greece and the grandeur that was Rome. Lo, in new brilliant, brilliant window niche, how stature-like I see thee strand, stand, the agate lamp within thy hand. Ah, Psyche, from the regions which are holy land. Hmm. Some vaguely vague poem there. Dear Emily, at long last, spring has come. Doctor says I'm not to go out. He gives careful instructions for my every... Every... Um, motion? Hmm. Every exertion. This I find particularly dismaying. I keenly miss the days of my exuberant youth. Cousin Aegeus continues to treat me with perfect kindness and generosity. It must be difficult to him for him to maintain an invalid so for so long. He himself suffers an affliction of the nerves and the strain of providing for me cannot be a small matter to him. He has been my closest companion all my life and I feel my and I feel such affection for him that the slight act of writing his name can cause tears to fall. Your loving friend. Berenice. When you feel dizzy, you must take a swallow of this. It will help mitigate the seizure. Also, I must counsel bed rest. Try to stay in as much as possible. Drinking the medicine from the bottle. This is how I would do it, not. Hmm. And again, it's a bit hard to navigate around. Um. Okay, there's the chimney that we haven't yet looked at. Hmm. And there's, in fact, nothing really to look at there. Uh, hmm. Can't we look at the bird? No, it would seem. But let us try to leave. Which will probably be not possible. Yes. Because that would have meant to... Um... Create yet another asset. 
Hmm. Can't touch the rose. Okay, that's still the same. Door, draw, draw, draw without apparent purpose. Hmm. Okay, this seems like it might take a take a while. Um. Hmm. Okay, it must have something to do with this bird. Am I being silly here? And missing the obvious thing. Hmm. Um. Hmm, okay. Uh, give me a moment and I'll have figured out this puzzle. Ah. That's the solution. I didn't... I missed one thing that we can click on here. Which is not Lady Snickers, but a letter, in fact. My dearest Egeos, I am writing this note because I have not the courage to s speak to you directly. I harbor such deep emotions con concerning yourself, and I find I can no longer hold them. Hold them back. Um. Letter that was started but not completed. Okay, we're still missing something. Hmm. Ah. He, he appeared to have um, that he had a bird in his hand, so let's. Hmm. Still can't do anything with the bird. Okay, um. Do we look at the mirror? Hmm. Am I stuck again? Ah, no, we can't leave, we can leave now. And they did actually um, create more assets. Must have been pretty painful to create this, um, all of the scenery. Given the fact that um, this game was Released in 1995, so it was a very 3D graphics weren't that um, much of a thing back then. And they looked, in general, um, looked much, much worse than this. Okay, this... Ah. Yes. Unfortunately, the music is... Um, was quite loud. I don't know whether you heard it, but someone, a male voice answered. So we'll ent enter now. And it appears to be a Geos. Ah, that's the room with the... Yeah, you 
recognize that room, don't you? Cousin, you never leave this room. Come for a stroll. Uh oh. You do know this room in indeed. Um, and you know what's going what's about to happen. Let's drop him. He seems miles from here. Are you all right? I'm sorry. Hmm. Apart from the fact that your eyes are glowing diabolically, you're perfectly all right. Berenice, will you marry me? Aegeus. Oh, Aegeus. Of course I will. I... Uh, I... Fetch the doctor. Find her medicine. So I suppose that we are presumed dead at this very moment. Um, no, we are not. Hmm. He's made me very happy. Hmm. Okay, yeah, I'm not quite sure. I hope he hasn't asked me out of pity. Oh, we didn't die, apparently. Hmm. No. Or no. did we? Certainly not. Dear Emily, the happy day will soon be upon us. I'm but certain Jesus Doctor would will look very handsome. I'm certain Doctor would say all this excitement is not good for me, but I haven't felt so well in years upon years. I'm concerned about Aegeus. He continues to be as very happy. He continues to be as bookish as ever, but he is often distracted and distant. I feel certain once our marriage vows are taken, he will adjust, as I will, to I the unusual hope he state hasn't of ask me out of pity. To the unusual state of being happy. I do hope that you can come to the wedding. I know it is a long journey, but it would be the final touch to a day of complete joy. Please, please. No, certainly not. Come see us, your loving friend. Berenice. And she is who look very handsome. Can't take the medicine. Uh, hmm. He's made me very happy. Can't open the drawer. Miss Perenice, you're soon to be married. Oh my, oh my. <laughs> yes, um, we are, apparently, and we can leave. What a relief. Ha ha, ha 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 ha. This was a joke. In case you didn't notice. Yeah. Let's visit our soon-to-be husband, Aegeus. He's so distant. I hope he's all right. Hmm. Let's see whether we can take a look around his office. No, can't.
Hmm, shit. And again, the sound didn't play for some reason. Okay, at least... Wait. Are we replaying the exact same dream again from the perspective of... Ikeus? Young man, our lineage has stood honorably for centuries. It appears to be so. Um, okay, hang on a moment and I will... You will have returned when that scene is over. And we're back. I played through that um, dream from the perspective of um, Aegeus again. And then we were still in the limbo world. And then I re-entered briefly this dream. And we are now back here. Um, so I suppose that we continue to play this dream from the perspective Aegeus? of Berenice. Darling? Oh, you're occupied. I'll return at a better time. So I suppose that we, that I should not have clicked on um, Egeo's eyes, because this triggered us to enter, to view this dream from his perspective. Yeah. Um, so suppose we leave now. Achilles doesn't look well at all. Hmm. Indeed, he doesn't. Perhaps and I should get the doctor. I think... Yeah, you are the one who is in need for a doctor. I'm not well either. Let us I must try get to... my medicine. Yeah, let us get your medicine. My medicine. My medicine! Oh. Um, that's bad. Too late. To be done? Inevitable. Oh, my. Oh, my. I'm sorry. She's gone. Hmm. Okay. Oh. I would guess that we are in a tomb. Um, never mind the fact that this tomb seems to be well lit, despite the fact that tombs tend not to be. Let, um, yeah, let us try to... Oh. We are indeed what trapped. They done? They've buried you alive, Berenice. Poor Berenice. Help! Help! Let me out! Hmm. I wonder what I would do in such a situation. I wonder what anybody would do in such a situation. Hmm. I guess this is Aegeus. Thank uh -oh. God. Okay, this is going to be... I think we have now officially witnessed the most horrible scene yet. That was even 
more gruesome than seeing the story from the viewpoint of uh, the gears. Uh, oh my god, I'm really um, I must say that I'm feel quite affected by that. Um, what just happened? Um, yeah, so. Okay, when we'll come back, folks, um, I will have hopefully um, regained my constitution and we are going to perhaps end this let's play and see the conclusion of the story between um, God, Henry and B not Henry and Elise, not Berenice, Henry and Elise. Yeah. So until next time, folks, until then.